Hi, Kitty Cats. Today is June 16th, 2024, and I wanted to discuss a great comment I got recently. The comment points out how difficult it is to receive gender-affirming care today, and that persistence implies the person seeking it must be pretty dang sure of what they're doing. Of course, this video series is a perfect example, so I wanted to expand further on this concept. Now, with the exception of Roe vs. Wade being overturned in June 2022, and sisters, I do not diminish the gravity of that act, with the exception of overturning Roe vs. Wade, there is no active legislative effort to restrict the rights of a marginalized group other than the LGBTQ community. No doubt the U.S. certainly has entrenched marginalization of many groups, but none of the marginalization is legally sanctioned except for legislation currently in effect against the LGBTQ community. Think about that for a moment. We cannot legally discriminate against a person for race or sex or religion, but we can legally discriminate against them for being queer. In the country founded, ostensibly, on individual rights, members of the LGBTQ community do not share the same rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness even other marginalized groups do. So why am I going on about this? The idea a person would willingly choose to join a group historically shit upon by conservative governments is ludicrous. Many studies have demonstrated the cruelty and the futility of conversion therapy. We don't choose to be queer. Being queer is who we are, similar to race and sex. Of course, not similar to religion, which is a choice, but is legally protected in ways I am not. So remember... This is why Pride Month exists. When an identity can be judged illegal, we must be aware of it until that changes. So happy Pride Month. Please follow me, like this video, and share it with those who need it. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.